Now we're going to start on the back of the leg. This area is where most people will find the cellulite accumulating, especially on the buttocks and thigh area. Just start with a nice effleurage, applying the oil to the skin. Make sure you apply enough oil. Make sure your client is comfortable. Just create three circles from the knee and then we're going to start with the next move which is friction. Once again, friction, you start from the knee to the top, fast movements up and down with the hands. Make sure you have enough oil as you can burn your climb if you did not put enough oil on with the effleurage. Especially on the buttocks area, you can create a lot of friction there. This move is to stimulate the blood circulation. Medium pressure, hands moving fast, up and down, past each other. Make sure your full hand is flat on the client. creating a vacuum with the top hand. Kneading, make sure that you take a lot of flesh of muscle between the thumb and the four fingers. You do not want to pinch your client, so make sure there's enough muscle or flesh when you do the kneading. With the bottom hand, you press forward and you knead. You press forward and you knead that you create a vacuum between the bottom hand and the top hand. Every move you're going to do on the buttocks and move forward to the hip bone. So you're going to work from the knee to the buttocks. Really work the buttocks as this is the area where most people do experience it a lot. And then just slide the hands past the hip bone and then start again. As we stimulate the blood circulation and creating a vacuum now, we're preparing the lymph nodes for maximum secretion. In the middle of the leg, then on the inner thigh again, and on the outer thigh, we spend a lot of time kneading the buttocks. Kneading with the bottom hand, pressing down and pushing forward. Pressing down and pushing forward at the same time. Then we're going to start with the lymph drainage move. The first one in this range is the triangle lymph drainage move. Put your thumbs together and creating a triangle with the four fingers. The next move is the square lymph move. Just opening the four fingers, putting the thumbs together. Once again, the pressure is where the thumbs are, medium pressure, slight pressure where the four fingers are, moving upwards from the knee to the buttocks. We do 
do all the lymph moves to remove the toxins from the fat molecules that create the cellulite. Make sure you give special attention to the buttocks area. Then we're going to do the V fist move, creating fist with the hands, putting them together to create a V. Then we're going to slide up, put pressure on the four fingers, creating a pumping action with the fists. There we go, putting the fists together and doing the pumping action from the bottom to the top of the leg. Once again, this is to create a vacuum in the lymph vessels so that the lymph will get removed easier. Make sure if your client do experience any pain that you do use lighter pressure if your client is fine, this is really a lot of pressure that you use creating this pumping action. Effleurage. Then we're going to start with ringing. Putting the hands opposite each other, ringing the whole leg, sliding past each other. Picking up the muscle and sliding past each other. Picking up the muscle and sliding past each other. This is to really stimulate the muscles and also to work on the fat molecules to release some of the toxins. Then we're going to do the ringing on half a leg. We start on the inner thigh, move to the middle, 